Do you want to write without typing? I'm going to show you two ways that you can write without typing for free in this video. Hi, this is Brian from the Grants and Publications YouTube channel. Sometimes you want to write something, but you just don't feel like typing. Maybe you're lazy and you just would rather talk. Okay, that's fine. Maybe you're just trying to get your thoughts organized and you just want to talk it out and capture what you're saying on your computer. Or maybe you've got an injury to your hand or your wrist and you want to let it rest and recover, so you want to avoid using your hands as much as possible. Well, for whatever reason you have for wanting to write without typing, I'm going to show you how to do that first with Google Docs and secondly with Microsoft Word. So Google Docs is totally free. All you need is a computer and an internet connection and a Google account. Now Microsoft Word is free for a lot of people that are affiliated with the university, or maybe you have to buy a subscription. But once you have access to Microsoft Word, it's free to use this feature. You don't have to buy anything extra. Let's start with the Google Docs. Now the trick is you have to do this in Google Chrome. Okay, you can't do it in Safari or Firefox or any other browser. It has to be Google Chrome. Let's just go to Tools and go down here to Voice Typing. Click that and then say click to speak. You have to allow Google to use your microphone. Hello, this is Brian from the Grants and Publications YouTube channel. I am demonstrating voice typing on Google Docs. You see that I am talking and it is transcribing what I am saying. You don't have to do this in English. It has other languages as well. One thing you might notice is that it is not putting periods at the end of my sentences. How do I make it do that? Period. It was that easy. If I just say the word period very quickly, it adds a period at the end of my sentence. Period. And it also capitalizes the first word of the next sentence. Period. What if I want to type a question? Question mark. Then I just say the word question mark very quickly and it adds a question mark to the sentence. All right, so now I've switched over to Microsoft Word. They don't call it voice typing, they call it dictate. So you see up here on the ribbon, there's a button that says dictate. And when I hover over it, it says office dictation. If I click on that, then it says listening. And you can see it's already begun typing, period. Just like I showed you with Google Docs, when you want to put a period into your sentences, you just say the word period. So notice when I said it slowly, it wrote the word out, but when I said it quickly, then it added the punctuation that I wanted, period. What if I want to write a question, question mark? Then I say the word question mark, and it adds the question mark to the question. All right, I hope that helped you. If you got value from this video, please hit the like button. And if you would like to see more videos on scientific writing related topics, consider subscribing to the Grants and Publications YouTube channel. I'll see you next time and happy writing! Exclamation point.